Hey guys, so it's been a long time and this video I wanted to do it for a very long time. Uh, pardon my English, it's not my first language, so I'm doing my best here. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I'm building um, a dual axis solar tracking unit. Um, I've had this for a couple of nights lying awake and thinking about how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to show you guys the steps I'm doing and I'm just going to wing it. And um, yeah, so it's actually for one of my borehole pumps. So I've been waiting quite a long time to do it, so let's get to it. Alright, so what I've got here is uh, uh, the linear actuator. It's a 24 volt unit. It's got a stroke of what? 900 millimeters. It's almost a meter. It's been lying in my garage for quite a long time. And then, then I've got this gear motor that I also bought with it a, a couple of years back. So um, I know also it's a 24 volt unit. And it's got a gear reduction ratio 1 to 525. So yeah, it's quite a big unit. Or oh, a gear unit. I've got a normal Victron MVPT to charge the battery, so this will be completely off-grid. And this is the rubber to seal the unit. And then I've got the wind speed sensor. It's also been in my garage for quite a long time. I'm just going to show This is basically, I'm going to try to program it to um, when the wind is too high to actually let it do like a table. And uh, so the wind won't blow it away. This is the tracking unit. This is a dual tracking unit. So it's got north, west, east, and south. It's got, let me just see. Yeah. It's also a 24 volt unit. I've got the green units on my single axis, axis units. So yeah, there's got two light sensors inside. So this is basically a dual axis tracking unit. I know from the other models, the single axis, there's a, a place here where you can um, connect, a, what do you call it, um, like a stop. Part of my English if I don't know what it exactly is, but um, uh, a limit switch basically, yes. So there's places inside where you can connect the limit switch. So now what I'm going to do is for the west and east axis, I've got this unit here. Now I've sourced on Alibaba and a couple of other places, the, what do you call it, um, uh, like, um, yeah, so I've sourced a couple of linear screw drive bearings for solar trackers, but it's quite very expensive. So what I've got here is a, a pivot gearbox. So what it does actually is also it's kind of like the same so when I turn this and I know this can take a lot of load because uh, the machine that used this for irrigation has a lot of tons on it so and it's quite heavy duty so but this is not a new one so it's a second hand one I got it from a friend of mine so basically what I do is if I turn it it turns very slowly to other directions Basically the same thing. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this gear motor and somehow let it run from this side to turn this left and right. And this will be between north and south uh, positioning. So now this is going to be my foot stand. And I've already drilled the holes at the back for this, I made a plate. So I'm going to weld this together and um, I'm going to keep you guys posted.
Okay, so uh, well, they're the first boss. But I'm not. But I'm not car uh, currently convinced it will hold. So I'm gonna do another boss quickly. But you guys get the idea. Okay. Okay, all right, guys. I feel a lot better now. I think it will hold out. All right, now I need to do the bottom part so we can. How should I say? Bolt it in concrete, like a, like a foot piece. Okay. So, I've managed to get out of this piece of steel. So, I'm thinking of welding this together and maybe drill some holes. Uh, first, I'm going to clean it up and square it a little bit. And then, um, I think, let me see, if it took half this piece, we're not going to put a big load of solar panels on it, but every 10. 100 watts solar panels, so it's about 1 kilowatt of solar panels I don't think the load will be too much in wind and stuff like that but if, if we weld it properly, uh, properly I think it will hold so let me get to it's a little bit bent but that won't uh, bother too much so let me see what I can do here Alright guys, so this is the first time in my life I see this happen. Can you believe it? Not sure why. But uh, that's why we should probably be wearing safety glasses. It's a sign. All right, guys. So um, I managed to do the foot piece. So all I'm gonna do now is um, get some threaded bar, put it here, uh, put a nut on this side, and this side, like bolting it down. I'll show you guys in a video and the bottoms uh, as well. And then I'm just gonna weld some pieces of steel here so I can cast it in the concrete in the ground and let it set. So, I'll give you guys a quick look how it looks. Let's pick it up. There we go. So, this is going to be the size. And of course, that thing get uh, bolts on top. So, it, I did struggle to put, get it um, level. So, but, um, so yeah, that's how far we're going. Get going. So, I'm just going to check the time now because I am on 
solar power off grid. I've got no ESCOM, so I have to manage my um, power accordingly. So I can't actually do uh, a lot of machine work after four o'clock in the afternoon. So just to make sure the batteries are full going through the night. So yeah. All right. So that's how far we're going. All to right, get guys. Today. So just an update. What I've done is. I've made the main arm of the tracking unit, so let me just give you guys a quick look how it's going to work. I've drilled the holes and I've already made this piece. So basically what it does is, let me just, sorry about this, I'm just going to put it quickly here. Okay, so what I've done is drill the holes for those uh, studs exactly right. Fits in perfectly. So now I'm just going to turn it over so you can see why I did it like I did. So now I'm gonna weld a piece of steel here and there. This is for the tilting, so north south axis. So this is basically the west and east axis. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is let's go over here. So I'm gonna weld these four pieces of steel together, just stack them. And then I'm just going to make a, a template, so what I, the, the thing I'm going to do is, this is an off cut, I'm going to try and make, a, cut it out like that into the steel and then drill a hole here right through all of them and then grind them apart again and then welding two pieces on on each side. So. I'll quickly gonna do that and you guys can check it. All right, so drill the hole right through, and uh, so I'm gonna quickly clean it up. I'm gonna cut those last pieces out, and then just clean it up before cutting your fingers. And it's quite hot at the moment, so let me do that, and then I'll continue the video. All right, so the plan is two of these on each side, like this. And then we're going to put the, one of the arms through here so it can pivot like this. One that side and one on that side.
All right, guys, so that being done. Uh, can you guys have a look there? On this side as well. So now this is my two arms for the north and south positioning. Let's just see how we're gonna do it. This baby should go in right here. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna drill some holes in here. But uh, to give you guys the idea, what is it about? Is uh, I'm gonna take this off cut here. So what I do is, <laughs> when the wind is too strong, uh, imagine this is my panels here, on top of this. And in a later video, it will show more what I mean. So I bolt it in here. So now it's like a table, level, exactly horizontal. So then the wind can fly over with no problem. So the reason I did it an offset like this is because when I drill the hole, it can go um, exactly level. That's how I do it the same. And I would like to have it exactly horizontal as well. So as you can see here, then it's exactly horizontal as well. So the panels can be exactly horizontal and exactly vertical. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly recap what I did. So I drilled these holes a little bit bigger here. Yeah. So I put a threaded bar through with a nut here, a nut on top, tied it together. I managed to edit it a little bit with a hammer. It was fitting absolutely perfectly. It's very snug. This side as well. So I tightened it, it down. So now, as you guys can check, yeah. All right, let's give it a shot, yeah. I'm gonna weld these two together so they move together, not independent. So that bolt is just for the purpose of the video. So if you guys get the idea. So the linear actuator, we're gonna put it here at the back and then this will tilt. Well, both of them, when I weld them together. And of course, north and south. And west and east position, if I turn it. Well, it's turning, but sorry about the quality of the video, but uh, I've only got one hand here. So yeah, so far so good.